Hey guys, welcome back. Right, here we go. Super Nintendo 121. Absolutely awesome. So, yeah, this is Yo SNES. It still is. I know, I know it might not look that light way because obviously I've been picking up a few NES games. But it is definitely still Yo SNES. It's just unfortunately I picked the wrong year to do it because the American SNES market is drying up a little bit and there ain't a whole lot coming up that I want. So, I'm only just getting games when I see them. As I said in my previous video for Super Mario Bros. 3, Matt Achu, who's a fellow YouTuber and a top bloke, also had another game for sale, which is a Super Nintendo title, which I wanted. And it's not a cheap game, and it's quite difficult to get hold of as well. Um, I don't like to ever use the word rare, but it is extremely uncommon. And if it does come up, it's not a cheap game at all. So, when I saw Matt was selling this, he'd been selling it for a while actually, and I put off buying it because it was you know, a bit out of my price range. But it got to a stage where I just thought, you know, I've got to have that game. And I was in a position to buy it, so, you know, worked out a deal with Matt, bought it, and uh, thank you very much, Matt. Absolutely brilliant. And the interesting thing is this game has actually done the circuit of YouTube so far. <laughs> Apparently it's originally owned by Crash Test Gaming, who's now known as Retro Rich. Um, he sold it to Matt, a chew, and now Matt sold it to me. So, <laughs> so it's making the rounds of the Nintendo collectors, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look at what I've got, guys, because I haven't had a look at it yet. Uh, so this is 121. Just work out where it's taped. Oh, thanks, Matt. I just noticed you put it in the box for six as well. Good on you. <laughs> Actually, all this in box protectors in the wrong. Oh, it don't matter. <laughs> Just take it out the box protector. Right, here we go. That's absolutely bang on. Brilliant. That is really nice. Jesus Christ, that's nice. Absolutely brilliant. Right, okay, so 121 for the Super Nintendo collection, guys is Street Racer. You can see that there. A nice bit of action on the go, look at that. It looks absolutely spot on. You can't argue with that condition at all. There you go. And that one there. Have I done that one? I can't remember if I've done that one first or did the other one. We'll do both just to be certain. There you go. And then around the back. That looks absolutely superb. Really happy with that. That is brilliant. That is a really nice addition to my collection. <laughs> That's how I've wanted this for a while, but it's, it's so hard to get. I've seen like one other copy that came up a couple of months ago, and it was uh, it was like well, it was a few quid more than what I paid for this. Let's put it that way. So it was expensive, and I was thinking about buying it at the time, but I just couldn't justify it. I had to walk away from it. And I think when I checked when I bought this, I think there was one or two on there. I think there's one on there at the moment. It's it's really not an easy game to get at all, and especially not in this condition. And I don't like to say that unless it really is true. Um, in my experience, it's not an easy game to get. Remember, I only use eBay as well. Right, so we've got all loads of stuff in here. Jesus Christ, we haven't got everything. Right, so we've got the precautions leaflet as standard. We've got, brilliant, the registration card with the free pug offer, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm glad that's in there, that's on the front of the box. got Nintendo Power, as usual. We've got a nice poster as well. Lovely. I love these little posters you get in the game. Brilliant stuff, look at that. The old street racer poster. Brilliant, nice crisp colour manual. There you go. Okay, it's all. Man, that game looks really good. The graphics look fantastic. There you go. So it is a kart racer, which is, you know. An interesting genre in itself because I think that at the end of the day Mario Kart is still the best kart racer ever devised. 
but there are a couple of cart races out there that really do put up a good challenge, I think. I love it when they got them. Dust protectors, man, you can't beat them. Absolutely spot on, mate. Really happy with that. Look at the condition of that. Nice glossy label, look at the sun catching it. Absolutely beautiful. Some pins on the go. It's just a, yeah, that is an absolute cracker. In the back. There you go. So yeah, very happy with that. Thanks, Matt. And, uh, also, thanks to all Retro Rich and all Crash Test, because he's the one that did all the legwork for us, so I have to track this down in the first place. So <laughs> Excellent stuff. Brilliant. Okay guys, well that's number 121 for my Super Nintendo box collection, Street Racer. Let's go and play some gameplay. Okay guys, so here we are. This is Street Racer. So it's going to be my first ever play of this game, so I'm excited to try this one out. So it is a kart game, like Mario Kart. So let's have a look at it, see what options, what we got. Oh my god, there's loads. Weapons, fighting, damage, collisions. Oh, on difficulty, on easy, well, we'll leave it on that for the time being because, yeah, it may go wrong otherwise. Right, okay, let's get stuck into the game. From what I've read online, this is supposed to be a really good kart racer. Um, right, okay, so we've got head to head championship. Oh, we'll just go championship so I don't really know which way to go with this. So what characters have we got? An old man. Looks like the the, uh, the old bloke out of Toy Story. <laughs> uh, a whole a Frankenstein dude called Frank. <laughs> Fair enough. Suzulu, interesting. Biff. Raphael, looks like an Italian. Uh, what else we got? Some bird. Right, okay. Helmet, it looks mental. He's got a plane, that's cool. And uh, Sumo Sun. I only go with hit this guy here, helmet, because his car turns into a bloody plane, that's fantastic. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. So I've got no idea how to play this, so uh, <laughs> give me a second to catch up and we'll get on with it. But it looks nice graphically anyway. It does actually look really good. So is that yeah. Okay. Okay, so the shoulder buttons you can track people. Oh, fast. You can hit people. Right, okay, I gotcha. Right, no. Oh, Jesus Christ, I pressed the button the bloody plane come up. So, I'm just trying to work out how to do the brake and then you got some kind of like. It controls really well, actually. It feels really nice. It looks fantastic. I'm hoping there's some. I was hoping there might be a handbrake now. I'm getting quite good at this already. It's my habit. It feels a lot tighter than Mario Kart actually on the corner. In. That's probably a bit of an exaggeration because I'm sure it isn't, but it feels like it is. Right, what the hell did I do there? Oh, okay, so if I hold that button, I think it's X. You hold that down, and I get my boost. Right, nice. Not sure. Oh god, what have we done there? Some grease shit going on there. Right, there's a plane. I can't. There seems to be a handbrake of any kind. Oh, I think I'm out in front or not. Uh, what position am I in? I can't see a position. I'm not looking at the, the screen where I should be. Pretty nifty little guy. Ah, second. I thought I was in first that one. Yeah, this is all. I like this. Music could do a bit more punch to it. But it controls really well actually, it's, it's really tight. You can get around the corners really well. So I seem to have an accelerator, I have a speed up which is like a special move I assume. I've got the plane which I'm not too sure what that is, I can punch left and right. But I don't seem to have any kind of handbrake. But anyway, besides all that, graphically I think it looks really nice actually. It's quite impressive. And I 
nice stuff and have a brand stuff and on. Oh no. This is a really nice looking game. Oh Jesus, that's a barrier. Oh Christ. Alright. Alright, we'll concentrate. So we get out in front. Let's take out Frank. Come on Frank, have that you bastard. Alright, okay, so that's not a good thing. I don't think it is. It looks really slick. The Mode 7 is impressive on this. I like it. It looks really nice. Doing well. But just keep an eye on this course. Don't, don't fail now, so Come on. Boost it a bit. Give me, get a nice lead to make one out in front. I don't want it catching up with me at all. The only thing that seems to be missing, he hasn't got, which I love on Mario Kart, is the fact you have the bottom of the screen. The screen split in half. At the bottom, you can see where everybody is. I really like on Mario Kart. Gives you a great indicator of how far ahead you are. Oh, I pissed that one, didn't I? <laughs> no problem at all. Alright, so I'm assuming it's going to be like Mario Kart where you do about, like, say, five races and then your average position is where you end up at the end, first, second, or third. So it's not bad, second in the first race, first in the second race. That'll do. Oh, this looks interesting. I'm really, really impressed with the environments. I think they look absolutely brilliant. The only thing that's lacking is the music, really. It's just a bit understated. It could have normally been a lot more powerful. But other than that, it's a really nice game. Oh, there seems to be a lot of fun in two-player. I mean, Mario Kart is just phenomenal in two-player. Definitely one of the better kart games I've played apart from Mario Kart. Because I mean it's so hard to beat that game. It's just it was just one of a kind, it's just so well done. Right, so I've got that if I press that button. Which I mean A. So I'm not I'm not sure how that works, what you're supposed to do with that. I can't just, it just sort of hovers, you don't really take off and fly anyway. There must be a purpose. I'll have to read the instructions, see what it tells me in there. That's a tight corner. It seems to be, I'd say, that seems to be a handbrake unless I'm missing the point. I might have to let my foot off the gas, which is not very helpful. Because that's one thing I love about Mario Kart is being able to use the shoulder buttons to slide around corners. It really helps. Oh shit, I pulled that off at the wrong point there. Should have waited a little bit because that was not a good time to do it. Right, here we go on straight. Have that sumo. Oh shit. Beautiful. First place again. Nicely done. This is more of an uncommon game, really, because it's a really, really fun one. Uncommon in terms of boxed, anyway. I mean, loose cart, I'm sure, like most games, is quite simple to get that. Oh, okay, we got some water, so we're, we're definitely good in the Mario Kart route now. It's a glorious looking game. I'm really, really impressed with the level design. I always found these sections to be a little touchy on the Mario Kart as well. Oh shit, wrong way. I tend to do that on Mario Kart a lot as well. <laughs> I always end up in the water at some point. Piss off. Frank's trying to come from behind. Sumo's right out in front of you. I can't get past him. I can't twat him. I'm trying to use my special attacks and my grease move with those blades. Uh, someone comes up alongside me. I'm losing track. I'm losing track. I'm losing track of the track about. Yeah, I'm losing. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I don't know. I don't know which way I'm going. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. That's it. A bit, a bit of power behind it. Come on. Oh, I'm kicking ass now. See that first round? It was just a warm up. Oh, I've just noticed actually there was a little map in the top left hand corner then. A little Mario Kart map. Oh, is that Australia? That was the Opera House, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm sure that's what that's supposed to be. Cool. After looking at the settings, see if there's anything for the music, just crank it up a little bit. Because it's got a good soundtrack, it's just not loud enough. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little tight as well. I must admit, the Mode 7 is fantastic. I'm really impressed with it. Oh, didn't do that well at all. Right, come on, come on, get Frank with him. Oh, shit. This is the court. Oh, bloody hell, it's kind of a bit fast. <laughs> it just suddenly sped up. Right, you now. Some proper tight corners on this one. This is where you could really do with a handbrake. I don't know why you haven't got a handbrake. All these bloody buttons on the control and they come put a handbrake on it. I guarantee somebody will leave a comment now and say, yeah, you, there is a handbrake, you need to press so and so. But, yeah, at this point of playing for the first time ever, I can't find one. I'll just punch Sam at the, uh, Sammo. <laughs> what? That's not bloody Bruce Lee film, is it? Um, <laughs> Sumo just punched him in the face. Come on. Come on. Um, yeah, oh, I nearly got him. More over the bleeding shop on this one. Come on, just hold it together for this last lap. This is brilliant. I really like this a lot. Excellent game. It takes balls to go up against Mario Kart, but they did a really good job of it. Got a bit near the, uh, the final, final lap, man. Round six that was. So do I get a cup or something? Oh no, we still got another track yet. Some lovely colours using this game. Love the snares, man, it's such a great system. I knew I was going to backfire, I mean, I shouldn't have done that, I should have waited. I, know, I sometimes did that Mario Kart as well, I forget to wait. So I'm on a good straight and then I can use it. Right. I mean, it's... I like being able to punch him, that's brilliant though. I still want to know what that's about. I feel like a good read of the manual, try and figure out what the purpose of that is. And of course, find out if we've got a handbrake as well, which would be nice. That's it, floor it, mate. Come on, we can do this, we've got to win this one. This track's a little easier, it's not so tight as the last one. Oh, bollocks. Oh, we suddenly went a bit pear shaped then. Oh, damn. Right, let's try and get some speed up. There we go, nice one. I know I could do it. To be fair in mind, I have got this set on easy, so, you know. Obviously, if I up the difficulty, I've got less chance of being as good as I am tonight. <laughs> Hey, first place, don't get a cup or nothing. That's a bit unfortunate, it'd be nice to have had a, 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 a proper cup or something, or some kind of celebration. <laughs> no, it just goes back to the beginning. That's a bit of a disappointment, because obviously Mario Kart has the ultimate celebration, but however, that's really good. I'm really glad I bought that, I really like that a lot. That's definitely one to pick up, guys. If you've not played it yet, go and grab a cartridge, because that is really impressive. And I think in two player, it'd be even more fun. So that was Street Racer for the Super Nintendo. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up with my videos, just hit the old subscribe button. That'll keep you up to date with everything. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again soon.